Hello, fighting games player and casual. It's Charlie. I uh, will just give you my first impression on the pre-order and soon the release of Fatal Fury City of the Wolf. Like you see on the right, uh, I just put the Street Fighter uh, base roster and first year of DLC. By the way, uh, sorry for my French accent. Uh, okay, so why to make that uh, point of reference is I expect one day we'll have a SNK versus Capcom game and that give me a, a little impression both side talk each other uh, if you look the first year of base roster the time uh, they released the game you have 18 character on Capcom side and on SNK side is supposed to have 17 it's mean one less but after you see Season Pass 1, you have 5 and Season Pass uh, 1 on Capcom side, you have 4. So after 1 year, both companies have the same amount of character. Okay, maybe just a coincidence. But what has really shocked me on both sides, oh, it's the price tag, the price tag of the Fatal Fury City of the Wolf. Uh, in Capcom, that cost me twice the money for for this and this. And on the top of that, I he's got the season pass for the sound. It, uh, my goodness, that used to be so painful for Capcom to buy the costume or uh, to buy the color or to grind uh, the sound. and Yeah, all the feature, I feel Capcom try to grind money from your pocket so yeah so I think uh, SNK of an uh, insane value for your money right off the bat you have the jukebox you have the color editor for your character that's just so they give you the color you don't need to buy it and they give you the editor what you want more that's insane they give you uh, the Battle Fury uh, original custom of Terry Bogard is great. So I think for the the value of the game, it's just the value. It's insane. It's super super good. Okay, here my my complaint, and that is a complaint from a legacy player. Sure, new player. Always you have someone new to your franchise. Don't know the story of your franchise. The same with the Star Wars movie or all that stuff. If you're brand new, you're not at because if you're an old player you used to some stuff they are not there anymore and yeah so my big complaint of uh, to be a legacy player and I will explain you my opinion and a lot of Gen Z customer new customer will not be a great because they don't know okay Street Fighter 3 and Mark of the Wolf are two failure and two financial failure for Capcom and SNK I don't say they are a bad game, they are a really good game with both with really good fighting system. But just try if you're a Gen Z player, uh, you will say, oh I like that character, that oh I like that character from that franchise. But now I give you your franchise with brand new character. Everything you used to love is not there anymore. So if you, you love a new character, uh, any character, they are not there. It's all brand new. That is used to be the problem with Street Fighter. Street Fighter 3 release Ryu, Ken, Chong Li, and Akuma. You're lucky you have four there. And after that, whoops, the back then the player in 2000, they, that used to be a big shock because everything used they used to love used to not be there anymore and that take really a while before you have Street Fighter 4. And for SNK, you have only Terry Bogart. All the rest of the roster people used to love in Fatal Fury 2 Special and Fa Real Ball Fatal Fury Special used to not be there anymore. And yep, and to be honest, Fatal Fury 2 Special used to be the game to have the most success back then. Compare Capcom, Street Fighter 2, Turbo used to be one of the game with the most success. So everything used to be erased, a shot for the player base. Now Gen Z player loves Street Fighter 3 because they have 25 years to 
they grew up and the character are there they, they learn to love the character same for mark of the wolf but for legacy player still no dog king no rick no yamazaki a lot of uh, good legacy player good legacy character blue mary Yamagas, yamazaki rick storm bob that will be a unique fighting style not there uh, me personally i love raiden uh, dog king not there kim that will be a son but it's not the original king and i will tell you uh, i will i will add on the top for smk uh, what i feel smk do smk don't respect their big character their big legacy and i will give you an example okay that will be really really quick the first do you see a street fighter game without akuma akuma always come back akuma it's always a good seller but akuma is not the first the first used to be takuma takuma is released in art of fighting one takuma used to be the first Akuma power, the first kind of character with that power. But SNK, I don't know, they don't push, they don't respect their own character. And yeah, and back then, if you used to be a legacy player that used to be uh, in SNK versus Capcom, that used to be Takuma against Akuma. And yeah, not anymore. So it's pretty, pretty sad. Uh, I will give you an example. Uh, a lot of. Uh, King of Fighter game, uh, these used to not be there. And do you see the amount of respect Namco give to Geese? And now I'll give you an example: the amount of respect uh, Capcom give to Terry Bogard. And sadly, I don't, uh, I don't see the same amount of respect for uh, SNK give to their legacy character. And I will uh, just give you another, ex another example. How? SNK give the respect to Rio, so I'm really, really, uh, and to Rio and to Kyo, to Rio and Kyo. So yeah, they, that's disappoint me from SNK. Uh, still, Da King, it's a big player. Uh, da King, it's completely I don't hear. Of. Maybe they will come DLC, but my goodness, they're supposed to fill the roster with the the big name, Kaiser, so many. So that's my problem with the uh, SNK and like I told you Mark of the Wolf used to be a financial failure so the other game like Fatal Fury 2 Special uh, you have big name they're not come back so and the character is stuck in the background so for the point of view of to be a legacy player uh, it's very very disappointed yeah but everything else uh, Price value, uh, all the feature, Mark of the Wolf, City of the Wolf offer. Uh, my goodness, the com the combat system, the the all the game move, the beauty of the stage, everything is there. It's just my uh, what I don't I don't understand from the uh, from SNK. They they promote so much in their video the legacy of the game. Uh, crap, where they are the legacy character. So that's my big disappointment. But if you're a new player, you, you don't know much about the legacy. Uh, uh, yep, it's a good game for you. So this is my wrap up. So thank you.